I think you know we have an obligation to uh, folks that we have at the college to try to inspire them and to help them move further uh, in their uh, career and to develop their their skills, their uh, career skills, and and perhaps help them see uh, potential that maybe they haven't thought thought of before. I just didn't want to deal with it anymore, but they wouldn't let me quit, and they, and they just kept encouraging me, and here I am, getting ready to go to college. It's amazing. <laughs> First of all, they they inspired in me a discipline to want to achieve the goal. Once I invested two or three months into it, and I saw how serious they were in me achieving the goal, I kind of got caught up in the drama of it too. And um, I really just wanted to, to do it for them more than so for me. I took three classes up there. I was given advice on looking up jobs on getting CRC, I didn't even know about. I was, I went through classes, pre classes, I went through continuing education courses, a lot to get all the skills, because I, for real, I didn't even know that I had any skills. Until I, when I, until I came here, I found out. I didn't realize, I was wondering why couldn't I get any jobs? What is going on in me that's not giving me a job? And it turned out that I didn't even have any skills to get this. And, I mean, it changed my life. My advice to them is just be open. You have the partnership internally and externally. Um, it would not be hard to do. We already have everything in place. I said earlier um, in this interview, is all about connectivity. Breaking down silos and barriers starts at the very top. Uh, we have a vice president who recognizes the need to do that, first of all, and allows us the freedom to, uh, to not be constrained by our job descriptions, but to look at what's best for the student and always keep that in mind.